Welcome. Yes, welcome to Wally World. This is <laughs> the Walter. Can you see it? Yeah. I'm on there. It looks fine. I took this stuff. This is fiberglass that usually gets put on a wall, you know, like a like drywall. And uh, I cut it and laid it in there and then took epoxy and laid the epoxy in there and uh, when it dries up it, it it holds it really good and so now I have to drill out these two holes and I'm going to try to fasten it to his truck and maybe it won't come off so let's go try it This is the way I keep things organized, and this is the way my brother can keep things organized. Oh, shoot. Better be careful what I say. This is going all over the internet, isn't it? how I did it last time. But you know, they might knock it off again. This time, breaking the whole thing. Maybe it's a good idea to, <laughs> to let it just be as it was. I like my other idea. Uh, you know, you sort of have a rubber band thing on it. It just sort of flops over and comes back. Oops. Well, I almost dropped that mirror. That would do a lot of good, wouldn't it? Put this mirror on, but the mirror itself is all broken, cracked, and all over the ground. Yep. That's what happens when you get your friend to fix something for nothing. You know, I really need a like a long screwdriver. I go get it. These little stubby things. Where did that screwdriver go? It's unbelievable. Don't turn it. Don't turn it off. Oops. Found it. Found one of them anyway. Okay, this is a little like lights come on. Right. Oh, oh it stopped. I'm afraid the uh, length of the screw is too long. I'll get a couple of washers there. It seems that Walter has neighbors that park so close that they knock his mirrors off. This is the second time I've replaced this mirror. I tried to put the mirror back on the mirror. There we go. That'll hold it. And and I bought him lunch. Look, I fixed it and I bought him lunch.